So as this is probably your very first preset you've ever built for the Trident, I'm gonna take it easy and just take you through it step by step here so you get a good firm understanding of how it all works. So what I've done here is I've created a blank template where I turned off all of the signal blocks, all the amps and everything, so I have this nice vanilla sound that has no personality to it whatsoever because it's plain Jane all the way through. Now, if I want to start with an amp, let's go there. Go to the amp signal block. I'm going to go here and I'm going to select an AC30 because I love the sound of a Vox. Now, that doesn't sound very good. And of course, the reason why is because we don't have the cabinet turned on. So let's go over to the cabinet signal block and let's select blue 212. Okay, so that sounds like a really good starting point. But let me just show you the secret here of working with cabinets. The beautiful thing about working with cabinets in our case is that you can match it to whatever you want to. While it will automatically match the amp to the cabinet, that would be traditional to that, that doesn't mean you have to stay with it. If you wanted to say put the Vox amp through a JC120 cabinet and you get a completely different tone and texture, not a problem. But I think in this case, I'm gonna go take a walk on the wild side here and I'm gonna go to a Soldano. I mean, listen to that. That sounds pretty good, actually. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna turn that gain up just slightly. And you can also change the input high and low as well. And uh, there, are certain, there are certain uses for things like that. We'll, we'll probably discuss that in more of an advanced, advanced uh, preset building tutorial at some point. But after I've got... Wow, that actually sounds really good. That's really nice and solid, isn't it? So this sounds decent. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point, though, is I am going to change the microphone. So I'm going to go down to the cabinet here, and I have a choice between SM57, uh, an E906, a U87, a C414. So uh, right now I'm on a C414, but let me go to that SM57. Because I tend to like the way those sound, especially when I'm working with something that's got a little gain to it. You can change the position of that microphone just simply by clicking and dragging from right to left. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it right there in the middle. And you can also change the power amp if you want to and turn that up. But I'm actually gonna keep it right at 12 o'clock. I think that just sounds better. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a noise gate because I do like to use a noise gate. Only just for the purpose of just keeping things as clean as possible. So I can make it really sensitive if I want to um, or you know, however you wanna do it. And you'll see why in a couple of minutes because we're gonna turn on an uh, a booster here and really bring that out. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to delay because I do like me a delay. Now I want to go with an analog delay, a BBD delay. And let's change the timing on that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go to a uh, digital delay. Okay, I'm gonna change that time as well. And everything I'm doing here, you can reproduce right here on the screen of the Trident. So you're not locked into it in either way. So if you wanna say change the, uh, the subdivision, you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it just there for now. Remember, this is just for a demonstration. And now I have my reverb section. And you know what? I'm gonna select a spring reverb. And remember, you always have the, uh, the shimmer effect or the freeze effect. So you can hear that just slightly in the background, but if I play another note. You always have that option. Isn't that wonderful? So if I want to change the position of any of these effects that I've added so far, like let's say I want the reverb to go before the delay, I can do it just simply by clicking and dragging. I can also go the other direction if I want to. But I can also go right between, you can see that little LED right there, where I can change it to parallel. I can change delay to reverb. Reverb into delay. OK, 
okay, I can actually work with that. Well, I'll, I'll go with delayed a reverb. I think that sounds better. Uh, then, uh, hey, look, let's put on a boost. And I do like a tube screamer, so. And remember, we're building a preset that's gonna be used as a performance, so it doesn't mean you have to stay with the reverb and the delay turned on at all times. You could just turn all of them off and work, and work from there if you want to. Now, you can make all the adjustments you want to here. Uh, let's say I just wanna use it more as a clean-ish boost. So turn it off, turn it back on. All right, that sounds pretty decent. I'll work with it. Let me turn that reverb back on and see what that sounds like now. That sounds pretty good, actually. Now, I'm gonna do one or two more effects here. I'm gonna go to the effects and uh, the effects block and I'm gonna go ahead and select harmony. And I'm gonna go ahead and move it all the way up to an octave up. And I'm also going to move that balance down. Because you know, since I'm using a Vox, I do kind of want to get that Beatles sort of sound. Turn that delay on. And you get a really nice sound out of that. So let me turn on the, the, boot, the uh, Tube Screamer now, and let me turn that drive down even more. So you can fine tune all of this later, like if you want to go back and maybe turn the master down a little bit, uh, just, to, just to kind of keep the signal under control, you can do that. Now finally, you can go to say a modulation effect, and here I could go to say a, a rotary speaker, which I think sounds wonderful for, for this particular type of patch. <laughs> especially if you turn off the boost. Now, you could go and turn off the effects and then turn that, that uh, uh, modulation back on or whatever you want to do. And if you want to change the direction of that, like you want the boost to go into the modulation. sounds. I'll just put it right back before the end. They're not always winners. So that's the beauty of this is you just have to adjust it. So maybe adjust that speed even more. Maybe turn the just the reverb on. Let's turn off that boost. In fact, we could actually go to the boost and we could just turn it to maybe say a uh, RC boost and just use that as a, just a basic boost, just to give it a little bit of bite, but nothing too crazy. And maybe move it before the modulation. Jimmy Page, eat your heart out. And after that, you, you are set to go at that point. So you can just go up to the save icon and you can save this. Uh, you can save it as, and then you've got a whole bunch of places that you can save it to and just select uh, a memory location and you are good to go. But essentially that is how you build your first preset with the Trident.